the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, everybody, God bless you. I hope you enjoy uh, your weekend uh, your, and last week, and I hope you have a blessed week coming up. And uh, this Sunday, we just did uh, the 23rd of July. We sat there and, and went over uh, the true mark of a Christian. But the title started off, because I ended up with two titles. And I want to show the two titles, and I want to read the scripture that we use, because the fact is we as believers need to start operating as believers and stop operating according to the world and understand that we are all accountable to God. And if you don't think that, then, then, then that's, you understand that stop calling yourself a Christian if you don't want to be accountable to God. A lot of cases we seem to be accountable to man, but we got to be accountable to God. Amen? So, this is the, this is a topic that uh, I felt I needed to address this morning, uh, but <laughs> the whole point is we need to understand the true mark of a Christian. But my title, then I go with this title. But the second title I want to show you, the scripture I'm going to go over with, uh, is "Do Christians believe we benefit from slavery?" That's a question. Do you? Because in Florida, they they want to put and say there was some benefit from being a slave. There was some benefit from being raped. There was some benefit from being uh, tortured and mutilated and hung and forced to lay, uh, to, to work in in cotton fields and 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 cake and you know other agricultural uh, things as if these people came from civilizations that didn't have those things, don't have those skills. But if, you, if you're that ignorant, I'm sorry, I'm going to tell you something. The earliest and first civilization started where? In Africa. <laughs> that's not an indoctrination, that's a truth. And the fact is that those people came from, those people who were kidnapped, came from uh, cultures and civilizations that were surviving and striving as a governments and as, as people, as communities. They, they didn't come out there sitting there hanging on a, a, just in a hut or just spear, throwing a spear. These people came. And don't forget, too, if you don't know history, the Moors ruled Europe for over seven, eight hundred years. Maybe you didn't know that, but you know it now. If you're going to listen. So we got to say, no, there's no benefit from being a slave. You think so? You be one and see if you like it. So I started with that. But this is what the whole point I really wanted to get to is this right here, the mark of a true Christian. And I want to cover those scriptures. And like I said, I hope you enjoy this uh, study we're going to do. I'll break them down in segments. But the fact is that we have to go by the teaching of Christ. We need to show and bear good fruit. Fruits of the Spirit found in Galatians 5, 22 to 23. Now the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there's no law. We need to bear good fruit. And then we need to also show the mark of a true Christian. And that's what this one is about, is showing the true marks of a Christian. And don't forget, Christ said, if you love me, you keep my commandments. Obviously, if some people saying they love somebody else because they're not loving Christ, but they're not keeping his commandments. So here's the, the script I wanted to use that we're going to use by study. And those scriptures come at the end of the study. But look at what it says here. Let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil, cleave to that which is good. Be kindly affectionate to one another with brotherly love and honor preferring one another. Not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Rejoicing in hope, patience in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer, distributing to the necessity of the saints, giving the hospitality, bless them which persecute you, bless and curse not, Rejoice with them that do rejoice and weep with them that weep. Be of the same mind one toward another. Mind not high things, but condescend to men of low estate. Be not wise in your own conceit. Recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide, on, provide things honest in the sight of all men. 
if it be possible, as much as lies in you, live peacefully with all men. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourself, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. Therefore the enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in so doing, he shall heap coals of fire in his hand. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. That's the whole point we're saying is the mark of a Christian. And I like to read that again. Be not overcome with evil, overcome evil with good. Listen, we need to be and bear the mark of a Christian. These are the answers to the test if you want to be a Christian. You make that confession and you bear good fruit because it's time for us to shine. And I'm saying is that's not some of the stuff we're seeing in the day. It's not about shining, it's about lying. And we need to not tolerate that anymore. It's time to start making the deal with the devil and start making the deal with God through the new covenant, through Christ. Amen? And like I said, don't forget to subscribe. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you when I see you. And now we're getting ready to go to the next session or the concerning the study we did this week on the 23rd of July. God bless you and I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye. But at the same time, so how did that how did tie in with them doing things and what about God? What about Christ? What about the teaching of Christ? Well, it's, it's the, the teaching of, of, of Yeshua. Come on, tell her that. Damn it, tell that. Seriously, they're, they're not being taught of Yeshua. They know, you know they're, they're, if, if they are professing themselves to be Christ-like, mm -hmm. then the only likeness to that is them showing up on Sunday in Bible study. And but to the question a, to is, a facility yeah, to to hear stories. But you know, you think they they heard enough of the stories to at least say that thou should not care. look. They know the Ten Commandments, right? Look, if you have a preacher in the in the in, in front of the congregation mm. uh, with, with, with a hostile uh, point of being, with mm -hmm. a hostile tone, and with vigor saying, if you are a Democrat, you're going to hell. Mm. If you are for the Democratic Party and you're in this congregation, you can get up and get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That we don't yeah. want you here. You murderer, demon. You. <laughs> Seriously. So, who, who is who is he ministering for? Right. What is he ministering? And if these people say, if they if they should have all gotten up and and ran about it. Yeah. Yeah. Because there was nothing Christ-like about that. No. How could, you, how could you know that God gave his son for the world? Mm. And then exclude people because of your personal likes and dislikes. Yeah, so you are you it. serving your will or the will of our father, Elohim? So, uh, now how do you even say about the election? How do you sit there and square the uh, the lie and keep going with the lie? Well, even though there's no it's, there's lies. I mean, they're trying to say that our our economy is <laughs> is so bad, and that's and that's one of the things they're trying to say about uh, Joe Biden. Yeah, no, look, even, but, even though, but, despite but, the show, despite the employment and and the yeah, inflation so, and let's let's go back to Woo. to before uh trump took office his agenda they said it will put us in a spiral and we will go into depression because of his agenda mm -hmm. and knowing that that's the narrative was going to roll back all these constraints <laughs> against these these companies wow. who pretty much, who pretty much uh, run this nation. Yeah. 
Yeah. They wanted him in there so that they could roll back regulations. And it because looks, he's rolling back regulations, we're going to release funds out <laughs> to make it seem like you're doing something. Yeah. But as soon as these regulations are rolled back and they become law, mm. then those mm. funds that we initially gave, we're yeah. going to take them back. Yeah. And this country, we don't care what happens to this country because we got ours. Deep. And so when they saw that this man mm. was not mm. going to be reelected, mm. you can see that they started pulling back and they started firing people. And and not only that, their their go-to was to blame COVID. Yeah. And then COVID happens under the watch of Trump, but they're trying to blame the results of it on Biden. Yeah. You know? To include, yeah. So yeah. so they first started talking about the jobs nobody's mm. working there's no jobs everybody's you know suffering and stuff he fixed that and he goes through and 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 really covid is not the 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 enemy that it was as far as just killing people killing yeah. numbers of yeah. folks that it was so it's 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 things come back to to norm and then they gotta find something else Mm, mm, to attack mm. and so it's always an attack but it's never this is our agenda to wow. change what's going on this is what we don't like so if they said his agenda for for this the economy has gotten us this my mm. agenda based on calculations will give us that you'll never hear that second part yeah. It's always yeah. his agenda is dismal. Yeah. You know, it's 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 failing. Yeah. And to include, yeah, so, look, look. So elect me. <laughs> yeah. Hey, and that's that's it, the just of it. They did you the know? same thing. They did the same thing with the uh, national defense bill budget, yeah. right? Yeah. They they said we voted for I don't know why those I don't know why those Democrats won't vote for this this national defense bill. You know, we yeah. we 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 voted for the protection of this country. Yeah. Oh, but we we don't disregard those those amendments we put in there. Yeah. Don't, don't, that, don't worry about those amendments. Yeah. We don't, and, and don't worry about everything we took out of it. <laughs> God, please, everything people. we took out so that it's not gonna work. And and it's that's a, our government. Our government is sin. you come up with an idea to fix the thing. And because it makes one side of the government look good, the other side is going to put in provisions and stipulations to ensure that it doesn't do exactly what it's supposed to do. Yeah. You know, the constraints. Right. And so the, the constraints make it impossible to achieve everything that they say it's supposed to achieve. Yeah. And then yeah. They, they'll go ahead and they'll implement it knowing what the results are going to be that they're not going to be as great as what they could be and then they'll say look they're not as great you know we yeah. won't, we we supported it but there's nothing in writing saying they added this they added that they added this and this and these are the results of what they added nobody is saying that you'll never hear that they'll just show the results of this new bill that's been put into law or these new efforts to change the economy or or the uh the what well, is it like abortion they went yeah. for so, transgender so, things and so you know everything that that is 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 put into law is already set up to fa not 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 that it's set up to fail but it's set up to be to be lacking well, one of the things they put in there about the diversity and equity, or equity and diversity, or yeah. DDI, whatever they call it, and and it's like, so just like they did the uh, the uh, firm action thing, right? See, everything is okay now, and y'all sitting there making this diversity thing a a, 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 a issue, 
And you should, we don't need to worry about enforcing uh, diversity and equity. We we need to go back to where you, see, that matter of fact, what would you say? You just said it, basically. <laughs> they go after me, they go after you. We want to be in a condition where we can do the things that we want to do. We want to be able to discriminate. And we don't want any pushback on that. You know, these people. It's not it's not the country. It's just that core group of people that want the old system back, right? Mm -hmm. Just like the 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 sitting in the back of the bus. See, sitting in the back of the bus was okay until the money. Right? The board cop. Yeah. It did it was like, wait, 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 wait. Wait, yeah. No, 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 no. Look, you, you yeah, cause see, see, we do see, look, look, here you go. Look, this, I mean everything ties in what you're saying is like <laughs> we had the right to put you in the back of the bus. Because that's how we've been treating you for, you know, hundreds of years. And now because we freed you, and now I want to put you in the back of this bus. You and then you boycott me. <laughs> okay, I got I got to let you sit in where you want to now. It's not because you deserve. See, because if the principle was that you should be in the back of the bus, regardless, I, I'm, I'm gonna take this position. You should be in the back of the bus. Didn't even be on the bus. You come on now. You shouldn't even have a job. You, you shouldn't be worried about driving but a car. You, but we need you to serve us, so we'll allow you to be in the back of the bus. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, but there, and I want to keep you to only certain jobs, right? I don't want you to get the good jobs. I don't want you to get promoted. So, oh, that's called affirmative action for their concern. It, it, despite the fact is that these people, you know, like I think we're talking about the fact that the legacy system, what they're now suing people over. The legacy is if I went to that school, despite my grades, right? I can get in there, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm legacy. I may not, I may be dumb as a rock, or at least not a high achiever. You know, I think even George Bush, uh, and even Kerry graduated from Harvard or Yale or one of the Ivy League schools with a C average. Yeah. You know, but and, these other and, people. And, and that was probably paid. Oh yeah, but you know, you buy building. You can buy a building for the school, right? You can donate a lot of money to the school. You know how, just like they they used to put put us people of color just pass us through school just mm. for 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 money sake. And that you know? and that yeah, because at first they used to fail you, right? Yeah. You used to fail, but, but now it's like they, when they started being held accountable for failing. Accountable. Ooh, man, you then just, it's like they just gonna push you through, push you through, whether, whether you can read or not. We gonna push you all the way through the high school, and ooh. you have people here graduating from high school, graduating, <gasps> and can't even read. How does that happen? Can't, wow. can't do can't do anything other than simple math and subtract. Did they take that test away? They used to have a test they had to you had to take uh, some kind of competency test or something. Well, or they, they they have a uh, uh, some kind of test. What they got it now? They still doing it? Yeah, the state state equivalency test that they have to do, uh -huh. and making it like half your grade and all okay. that was, and and then because they were doing that. The teachers were just teaching the test. Okay. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and so, because they were only teaching the test, mm. and these kids weren't learning anything. Mm. Mm. So then, uh, complaints started happening, and so now it went to it went to like 20, 30 to twenty percent of your grade. That mm. milestone, yeah. uh -huh. milestone test. So it wow. went to twenty percent of your grade is based on this milestone. Yeah. And then it was just- I heard they were cheating on that too. I heard they were cheating on one time, right? There was, well, they, they're was just it? teaching the test. You know, if 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 these teachers are held accountable mm. for a, mm. a test that is supposed to, to show the amount of knowledge that these kids are retaining throughout mm -hmm. the school year, 
Mm -hmm. Then obviously, the simple thing is not to teach the lesson, mm -hmm. to <laughs> teach the test, yeah. so that it shows that I'm doing my job. Mm -hmm. So it went from 20% now is down to 10% of the students grade. That just I just heard that on the news. You did okay. See, I thought so, what happened that yeah. yeah. So uh, that way they can't they can't make these teachers suffer. So, so, you know, the bottom line then I'm saying is that, that, you know, I told you Romans 14, 12 again about the fact that everyone who gives himself to account of himself to God. That's not being taught either. Because if you know that you, if they knew that, they would probably wouldn't do it. But if they can ignore that, go ahead. This just came to mind. So like I was saying, these teachers, are teaching the students the test mm -hmm. so that they can answer the test. Okay. In church, Ooh. pastors are teaching Ooh. the Ooh. congregation uh -huh. the answers to the test. Are you a Christian? <laughs> yes. Well, how are you a Christian? <laughs> I believe in Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't really believe what I'm going to say. I'm that's what that's the answer. That's the answer to the question. Answer to the test. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they're yeah. really not, yeah. they're really Ooh. not a child of God. Yeah. Or they're really not learning. Because I mean, everything about this is to learn of mm. in, in your shoe. <laughs> to increase your grace <laughs> and your favor. Learn of him. Everything is set Ooh. on the knowledge of them. But if Ooh. you're not teaching them, you're just teaching the answers to the test. Yeah. Pro life. I'm pro life. That's what the that answer. What, what does that mean? <laughs> yeah. are, you, are you are you pro life or are you pro abortion? Uh, uh, anti abortion, whatever. Anti abortion. <laughs> you know. And, and and if you're if you're anti-abortion, then how are you anti-rights, individual rights? Right, how right. No, seriously, Henry. Have rights if you're infringing on their rights. So if your right to be anti-abortion is what you want to believe, how could you infringe on these other people's right? Who are pro abortion? It's their yeah. right. Oh look, and don't forget, I got I, I'm also Second Amendment man. Yeah. I, I I got the right to 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 get guns. I got the right to get the assault weapons. If you get them. <laughs> if you oh. get them. If if so, it's it, it all works when it's faith. It is. Matter of fact, let me ask you a question. What have happened to the uh, no, the, the, the black group that had the guns, uh, no effing around coalition or something like that. Oh, I, I, I didn't really get into that. Or, or whatever happens, to, yeah, I don't know because remember, they had guns, remember, yeah. they, they, they had little uh, they'll come to a town sometimes, right? Yeah, and, and, sure. and, and, and so, and we'll, then they started getting threatened. You show up here. There's going to be some carnage. Do you remember hearing that? I heard that. I heard that the no. I heard that uh, well, there was one video I showed you where they actually had some people, some court a militia group that was waiting, you know, to yeah. get mingle with them. But they were scared. They didn't really go. It was fair, right? Yeah. They stayed away from them. Yeah. You know, and do you remember the one in Georgia? Uh, the last one I heard was uh, Stone Mountain. Yeah. They went there and nobody showed, there was nobody showed up. No, they, they weren't going there. Cause see, they, they can talk a game, but they know. That's why That's why a whole lot of people, you know, they join the military. They get out when they find out the war is coming. Yeah. They, they did that for the draft dodging thing too, right? And, and how the people, the only really poor people went to Vietnam, yeah. didn't they? Yeah. But yeah, but it's amazing what you're saying though, the people, I'm trying to say we're, going, we're, we're tied in with the church today. We're not teaching you the spiritual 
uh, salvation. We teach you the cardinal salvation. Yeah. We just want you to check the box. Remember this? I mean, somebody yeah. said, I'm just checking the just box. Checking the box. Show I, up. To, just because it's, it, 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 it checks the it, box. It puts you in a favorable position. I go to church every Sunday. That's my, that's my, that's my. I go yeah. to Bible study. Mm. I'm a Christian. And, and, and look, how many pastors have been caught cheating with the congregation and everything else? Yeah. But they, I, I was they're not teaching the test. Oh, yeah, maybe no. They are teaching the test. But they're, they're not. That's a test for man, not the test for God, is, is the whole point. Uh, hey, everybody, God bless you. I, I, once again, I still be excited about getting to the Word of God, studying the Word of God, and discussing the Word of God with other people. And this Sunday is no different than for the rest of this week. Uh, we're sent out in small segments, uh, these uh, sessions, so you can digest them. Uh, but I'm telling you, the the topic today, I had up with two topics, uh, because you got to be there by the Holy Spirit on what He wants to talk about. And, 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 and try to make sure people understand who we are, who you are. If you believe that you are a believer in Christ, if you are letting Christ be Lord, because it's not just confessing with your mouth the Lord Jesus, but believing in your heart that God raised from the dead now to be saved. But the key to that is that you believe with your heart and you, you, you confess salvation to your mouth. But the key word I want to put in there is that you're letting him be Lord in your life. If you follow in Christ, Christ said in John 14, 6, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by Him. So the question is, is some of the behavior that we do, are we doing that to, to please the Father or are we doing things to please man? Do we believe we're going to only be accountable to man in this lifetime or do we understand we're going to be accountable to God? That's what I want to be able to talk about. And when, when, when I came up with the study, I had... The initial topic is the mark of a true Christian. And and I felt led and also inspired because of the news of this week where the state of Florida said then says that, you know, uh slave benefit from being slaves. And you know, good whether that that's just a slap in the face to anybody to just think that you you benefit from being a slave. Uh could I ask you a question, who Anybody, anybody who was not were not slaves. Anybody who would, came to this country as free people or indentured people. But the fact that you came to this country and did you want to be a slave? Do you think that you would have been you it have been beneficial for you to be a slave, opposed to being free? And the answer is going to always be being free. So it isn't the type of I get in Amico. This is my opening piece. I want to give and and, and close out. I had two topics. The first one was, do Christians, and you know, because I'm a Christian, so I'm talking about as Christians, do Christians believe we benefited from slavery? And the answer should be no. And if you do believe that, then you need to go and t come up on the line and tell people why you felt that you should have been a slave so you can get benefit. So instead of sitting there trying to say that somebody else benefited from rape, benefited from murder and lynching, and the brutality and forced to, to not pursue happiness, but to be forced to work for somebody else forever, or at least until they died. You know, that's that's the conditions of slavery. And and something about Florida, they forgot the fact is that those people that actually uh, are anti-abortion, don't go to forget that some of the people in Florida or in some of the other states, I guess, as well, use baby slaves to capture alligators. I mean, they put the baby out in the, in, in the reach with the alligator and come in, in a child. That's, that's, that's demonic, don't you agree? But the bottom line I put down here is that do Christians believe we benefit from slavery? No. We don't think we benefited from the brutalities of slavery. And if you think so, why don't you go ahead and be a slave for yourself? You know, the bottom line is we are believers. And Christ then said in John 15, if you love me, you keep my commandments. 
you know his commandments, right? John 14, 30, what, 13, uh, 35, or 34, where it says is, a new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another as I love you, that you also love one another. And then 35 says, and men will know you're my disciples for the love you have one another. So uh, obviously, uh, people of slavery that became Christians, they still had the same type of mentalities and everything else, really bring up this modern day time. And yet, they did it by, to, from people who profess to be Christians. Uh, now, the benefit is something from God, not from man. And if, if I go by the man benefit, I don't want it. Not that way, anyway. The other one I put down here is the mark of a true Christian. And, and, and as we close out, the fact is, man, uh, are some people not recognizing, and I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of them, they don't really are accountable to God. They don't believe they are, but everybody will. The Bible said, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall profess that Christ is Lord. Um, everybody will be go before God and give an account of himself to God. You know, that's why we want to advocate Christ. So you take it for what you want. But obviously in this world, talking about in this world, some people feel that they are not going to be held accountable. And maybe that's why they do what they do. They can't see what they're seeing or doing. Amen. So God bless you. Hope you enjoy yourself. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to put my introduction in. I may do a uh, close out as well, but don't forget to subscribe, leave comments, and uh, I appreciate the support of listening. Man, God bless you, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye. <laughs> this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.